Here we talk about the distance time graph, which is the most important graph to represent the relationship between the distance travel and the time of an object. So here is example. Suppose a student wants to study the motion of a bus, and so he tried to record different positions between the two bus stop at the different moments. At time zero, which is the starting moment, the bus is stopped at A and start to move. And so we can record it that the time zero, the distance travel of the bus is zero. And then after ten seconds, the bus is travel for one hundred and fifty meter. So we can put one hundred and fifty in the table. And then after twenty seconds, the bus. Travel in total of three hundred meter, so we can put it on the graph on the table also. And then after thirty seconds, the bus is stopped at the bus stop B at four hundred and fifty meter away from A. So we put the four five zero in the table. And at the time equals to forty, the bus is still stopped there. So the total. Distance travel is still four hundred and fifty meter because the bus doesn't move at all after thirty second. So now we have the table to show the relationship between the time and the distance, and now we can use the graph to represent the distance and time. Usually, for the distance time graph, we will put the time as the horizontal axis, and the distance as the vertical axis. Now, so let's put down the two axes first by using the two arrows to show it. After we put down the arrow, we have to think of the label of the two axes. So the Vertical axis is the distance, and the unit is in meter, and the horizontal axis is the time in second. And the distance is in total is from zero to four fifty here. So we put down the label here, and then for the time is from zero to forty. After we mark down it, we can put down the Data point with the small cross here, and then we can just simply connect the data point with the straight line in this way. So we get the distance time graph of the bus, and we can put the title as the distance time graph of the bus here. Now this is how we use the graph to represent the motion of the bus, and this is the first important graph about the motion. And here we can use this graph to predict at different moment what is the distance travel of the bus, or we can use this graph to find out. When will the distance travel at a particular length? For example, in this graph, at ten second, we know that the object will move at one hundred and sixty meter. At and at twenty five, is moved for four hundred meter. So this is the basic of the distance time graph.